Greetings everybody. Welcome to one more episode of the Pony Farm again. One many developments, many things go on and I have to give the update, you know. Sorry, we never get to record everything, but we are busy, so we have a bridge that helped me on the farm with most of the things, so I give the update now. Alright, so this way I look for now the yam farm. Come here, I start work on yam commercially. They right there saying I'm Miguel there, someone. Yeah, man, so my wife, they plant yam before. She do 50 yam hill. And me and her do it together and we learn how to plant yam. And we bring it. Yes, I. Okay. Yeah, man, so we learn how to plant yam. And we say, alright, we're going to do it commercially now. So from the 50, so we yeah, say, alright, we have land. We yeah, say, we can use it up, you know. Enough land is the same way, you know, to put yam. So I say, alright, we can plant up some yam. So this one I look upon is over 500 yam hill you know so these are the first yam farm I'm try with the bananas on the edge planting and pumpkin in between you know to hold down the weeds and still have a next cropping inside for the family to eat pumpkin here so right now weeds inside so after the rainy season, we'll try to weed out as much as possible, you know. But about two months time, it, this section is ready for reap. So, coming down this side now. Where originally we had the tomatoes and the pak chai and the cane and everything. Right now, we plant up some more yams over this side, so this side is younger. We did this side first over here, and then now, this is the new side, which is just a couple months old. This side is about 9 months, going to 10 months old. This side is about 3 to 4 months old. You know, so... I said I do it commercially. So the thing with the yam now, you can use the yam heads over and over, you know? It comes like banana. You know, banana always multiply. It's a only shade we built up recently when rain fall, you know? And you don't know the tank here, so. Yeah, so. Seem like banana. Well, similar to me, where well, banana always grow eyes and shoot out new sucker. That is same with the yam. Yam heads, it always have multiple eyes on it and shoot out more yam sucker. So the reason why I choose to the yams over every other crop commercially because I tried the sweet potato before it grow well sweet and nice but it had too much what I call it obstacles and things what hindrances you know so I did the sweet potato it did all right but when it's time to sell the price was very low, you know. So I basically sold all many sweet potato for little or nothing, you know. But with yams, the price hardly drop. 
it always like mostly increase and it have a stable price. And with yams now, it is easier to deal with to me because you know insects and all type of things trying to stop your yam growth. You know, like sweet potato always have worms. Like when you get a little old and get sweet, worms and rats. Rats always eat out the sweetest ones, you know? So, that's why I say yam this time, you know? So, this are the first time commercially doing yams, and I love it so far, you know? We put the pumpkin in between, and you know, and the, the cocoa. Right here we have piers on the ground, piers in the tree. The tree them full up here, you know. So while me I talk to you guys, me go go and just put some pier in my bag. And go up with some pier, you know. So one like this firm. Just put this one gone, you know. Fertilizer for the yam farm. <laughs> yeah and how we pick some pears is like if you see a shine on it that means the pear is young you see how these shine glistening you see the sun reflecting off it the light reflecting it shine one more shine one but look at this one now no shine so that is when we know it is, it is getting ready to be fit. I can pick it and put it down in a dark, dry place, and they will get ripe in no time. You know. I see one more dull one here. You see it. So I'll put, pick it, put it down because I mostly like the pears that is on the tree, I don't like the one that fall on the ground because sometimes it have a little bruise on it and I don't like pear with the bruise because it gets soft and not so nice to me, you know, some people like it soft but I like my pear and which other people call avocado in other countries, we call it pear in Jamaica other people call it avocado. So I like my avocado very firm, not soft and squashy squashy. You know this is our next spear tree. You know, you see that these have a sheen to it, but this one up here is a partially dull. And it's easy to pick as well. Okay, you see, hold up up here in the tree. Got this one right over my head. I need to try to get a stick. So all these pear trees now, they were planted by my grandfather. And see it now, me as a grandchild now can do a, a pick pear and enjoy the pear man. <laughs> I try video. Yeah, right on foot. Nice looking pier, look at that. I just broke off the branch. Put it in my bag. So I have a couple in the bag already. So yeah. Well so I don't need no whole heap of pier still car. 
Cho, my forward. Cause the bridging that I help me on the farm, what time is enough more pier down there, so so. I'll go get a little more. But yeah, and see how we plant up little sorrel on the side here, so. And on the other side, we have like a sweet potato, like a Irish, and so just for household use, you know, because we don't want to buy the certain things, so we plant it. Find an expert down here, so. Like on start deal with it. Well, John, I'm not even see which part the fire turn. I'm going back on the side yeah. So yeah, this is the other side of the So this side about 600 and odd Yam Hill this time So we try to do it close to 500 You know, so Over 1000 Yam Hills In all You know, some corn plant up over this side Pumpkin in between this side we weed out already. But we are look. Cause I'm so quiet may I look because we have a big pumpkin here so but oh so we'll find it here someone. Look at this pumpkin right here. Massive pumpkin. You can't even imagine the size. Make I just put a pier and my hand beside it. Let's I'll show you the size of this pumpkin. It's massive man. <laughs> you know? Massive. And so we use the pumpkin and punk, a big big seed pumpkin like that to try to save it and so we have that breed for always use. Fire this will always keep the place nice man. Mohan Cho. See most of the Irish are grow nice. And this is a sweet potato over here so. Just enough for household use. Cause we now do this commercially. Just so I know so we now have to buy them things in supermarket and market. Got the fire near Mr. Noel. You know, hard worker. Everything you saw you see I him deal with it man. Everything. Every yam hill. Every stick was cut. Every Irish was planned. This a man, yeah, man. And the man could have been my grandfather. You know? I respect him enough, man. Because you can see. Look how the man powerful, the man, for do them work, so.
So we give thanks man because many people in Jamaica who do, do them type of works here and they are cuss for rum and them thing there and want food for it. <laughs> so we give thanks man. Because we are plan for plant out the rest of the place with the yam in the future. Because so them yam you now can multiply. So from a thousand it will turn two thousand. So 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 start dig more yam hill again and thing to multiply up the thing. The father say fruitful and multiply. Cause that a go on here so. So I'm just a give you a little update on the vlog. A long time you know showing you nothing what go on. Cause the fire always done here man so. I'm not really dumb here for doing no works like that. Because so we so much up the road now. Because when my vehicle can come up on the road, it's a little better now. I'm going to go down here more often. I don't know all of this cost money too. And just uh, give thanks to your father for providing what I'm providing here, man. So, I oh, can go on, go on. So yeah, we we'll link you again in the next episode that I update upon the farm, Liberty Jamaican farm. Bless up you know. And go and do on our day with man and keep close to the father and do the work so I have to deal with. Bless up. Yes, I fire say my picky pumpkin cause next week again to come down here so better we deal with it now. Man, got a pumpkin big man. See, but I'm going to make it stay till next week. It's going to go. I'm going to wet up. I'm going to start spoil. Yeah. Mm. A true man. Man. Yeah. That look like a 30 pound. Because mm. the last big one with the weight, you know. Yeah. At the 19 pound. Yeah, man, I want a big one. Heavy to us. Big one. Man. Jano. Mm. Two. Yeah, yeah. Well, what you say? I have to show you that little pick in there, man, because we got picks. Two. See if I say about 30 pounds for two. Imagine you buy 30 pounds of pumpkin from market. How much you go pay for that? hundred dollars a pound or three thousand dollars. Three grand. Because mm. that's like 25 US. And pumpkin is supposed to pass more on that time. Two. So that's me say. No, it's neat enough. We get that in half. Man. Three grand nut. I'm going to be good enough. Man, eh? I'm going to see if you see your fret. Give me a bag. Give me a bag. I'm going to be good enough. Yeah. Oh, you say they are telling me for go. Be a pure day ground, especially after the rain. Yeah. That's be a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Because if a man take up 10 half a gram, go sell it. No 2 grand that man. A 2 grand is for 200 dollars for a pair. Eh. 2,000 dollars. And they are rotten. Because when things set away, you know, I'm going to pick everything, you know, and go sell it, you know. When I pick up and sit, but I don't have pressure myself right now and certain things are not in place, you know. I want to pick up a two fine bag of peanuts. Two. Two. Yeah, man. Could I load up a pick up every week, man? Yeah, I search couple here. That good now, man, because I still have a couple of yard to you. Know. Okay. So, this will warm me till next week again, man. I don't know if you have a phone. I don't know if you have a phone. I don't know if you have a phone. You can pick your 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 phone. You Somebody is a boss trying to pick them. Yeah, man. I'm a love planting too, you know. Oh, I'm doing something right there. I'm not telling you to go and eat them. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs>